Right now we have a lot of noise happening, right? Right now we have a lot of noise happening, right? Black Magic it just released the full version of DaVinci Resolve version 20. And today we're going to be talking about the my top features that I love using as an editor. I've been diving into this a lot. And this thing is a powerhouse. And if you guys haven't thought about switching, today is the day. One of the greatest features that DaVinci Resolve released is audio assist. I love it. Like you guys can be the judge, but I feel like my audio is now getting to where I like it. And I feel like the volume is better. People can hear me better and it's a lot more clear. So we're going to go ahead and skip to where the pan's at right here. All right. Now let's go ahead and add some music into the mix here. Let's go ahead and add in this track. Of course, this track here is just an instrumental track and I don't think it's going to fit for the video at all, but regardless, we're just testing out the audio assist. And we're going to go in here and we're going to go to work epidemic sound. This is where I get all my sound effects from. What's this? Okay, we'll add that in. We'll add some other stuff that I already have saved. Let's just go to saved. Let's go to downloads. And let's go into, let's do a trailer swell just for the heck of it. And like I'm just throwing in some random sound effects for right now just for the purpose of this video. Just to show you guys the power of this audio assist. Okay. So now we got a couple sound effects going on. We don't have anything really la layered. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and layer audio. Just some sound effects to really tie in everything. And I'm going to go ahead and close this out. We're going to go into timeline. Okay. Now this right here is the AI tools and we're going to click on audio assist. And for my delivery standard, I am going to click YouTube. I will talk about this a little bit later on in the video. We're going to click on auto mix. And now it takes a few minutes depending on how long your video is and how aggressive the video is. What I'm meaning is like how many sound effects, how much music you have. And what it does is that it categorizes, organizes all your, all your tracks and it labels them. And then it adds EQ, it adds limiter, it adds de and if it needs some voice isolation, it adds that. We're going to go into our Fairlight page so I can show you guys what it actually did here. It labeled and organized all my tracks. It's freaking crazy. And then it added voice isolation, some dialogue leveler, de and a little bit of compression and EQ onto the tracks and the presets that it does is okay i mean all it does is really bring in a low cut filter on it and that's basically it but what i do is i have a saved preset and i just click on this now in order to add a preset you can actually click on this arrow and you can say create new and you can name the preset and then it will be saved in this library so every time you can go back in there and have consistent audio for every single video that you do especially when you're in the studio right so let's go ahead and hear what it actually did and more specifically i'm curious about the fan it is really hot here and i really like it so we're going to keep this fan on just for a second because honestly i want to talk about this voice isolation tool uh because it was in that's crazy now let's break down the delivery standards inside AI Audio Assist. YouTube itself, like we discussed, is a negative 14 LUFs, which is ideal for content creators. And then we have Netflix, which is set to a negative 27 LUFs. And this is good for broadcast or even cinematic releases. And then we have our EBU 
R128, which is set to a negative 23 LUFS, and it's mainly used in European TV. And then we have our ATSC A85, which is set to a negative 24 LUFS, and it's made for North American TV or North American television. Then we have our Disney's here, 2.0 and 5.1, which is strict delivery for theatrical or high-end streaming. One of the tools that DaVinci Resolve adds in is voice isolation. And the question we gotta ask is, how powerful is this tool? We're gonna bring in the fan. This fan has been around for years with me and I love it, but it makes a lot of noise. Let's put it on full blast. Oh, it is really hot in here. And I really like it. So we're gonna keep this fan on just for a second because honestly, I wanna talk about this voice isolation tool. The previous versions of voice isolation was not that good. And honestly, I would not use it, you know, but now with the release of version 20, they made some updates to it. And I feel like now my audio is a whole lot better and I feel like it's so much crisper. We're gonna get to the editing room. Let's go ahead and click on AI voice isolation. And I know that this tool was in the previous versions, but they made some big strides in this uh, plugin that's built into DaVinci Resolve. I say a plugin, but I mean, it's one of the features in DaVinci Resolve. And I'm on. just gonna click just on AI voice isolation. Just because in the audio isolation. assist, it does have voice isolation or what we like to call uh, uh, noise reading. Just because it does have voice, uh, just because it, just because one of the features in the audio wow. assist that it does is that it adds voice <laughs> isolation. And typically, and essentially what that is, is, is it is noise removal. That's before the voice isolation. And that is just because it, with just it. because one of the features in the audio assist that it does is that it adds voice isolation. And that's nuts. Okay, so I lied. I really want to test out the full capabilities of this voice isolation and audio assist features in DaVinci Resolve 20. And to do this, we need some noise. And the fan wasn't cutting it. So we're going to use my motorcycle. And I actually have a custom exhaust. I have Vance and Heinz exhaust. So this thing is extremely, extremely loud. We're going to go ahead and crank it. All right, so right now we have a lot of noise happening, right? I mean, this thing is loud. And I can see that I'm actually clipping on my audio right now. So we're gonna see how well DaVinci Resolve can actually handle this and take this noise out from the background. I don't know if it can do it. Let's find out. As you guys could hear that the fan noise was able to be isolated and you could hear my voice clearly, but honestly, I didn't think that was enough. I really wanted to test it to its fullest capacity. And to do this, I needed a lot more noise, which is why we brought in the motorcycle. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna cut straight to this. We'll go into Timeline AI Tools Audio Assist, and we're just gonna see what this thing can do, which is good. So, right now we have a lot of noise happening, right? I mean, this thing is loud. Okay, now let's hear this with the AI voice isolation tool. All right, so, Right now we have a lot of noise happening, right? I mean, this thing is loud. Oh my God. And I can see that I'm actually clipping. You guys listening to this thing? On my audio right now. Like, so, this is mind blowing. This is freaking crazy. Listen to this. Before, right? I mean, this thing is loud. And then this is with the AI voice isolation. All right, so right now we have a lot of noise happening, right? I mean, this thing is loud. Now, granted, this thing is not perfect. Like anything in artificial intelligence, it's not 
perfect. You got to do your tweaks. But honestly, for it to be able to isolate my voice from that kind of noise happening, that is groundbreaking. Like, insane. I mean, think of the possibilities that you can do using this AI voice isolation tool. Let's just say that you are filming a documentary, a wedding, or, you know, something that you're in a location filming a talking head where there's a lot of noise happening in the background. Like, let's say you're in a warehouse where there's forklifts and uh, beeping noises going everywhere. I mean, you can isolate that. And that, to me, is groundbreaking technology. You add a little music in the background, some sound effects, and it's really close to perfect. You can add in your own EQ and everything like that, but honestly, I'm blown away by this. I know a lot of you guys might give me flack for, you know, using artificial intelligence, but to be honest, it's not going to take over our job. It's there to assist us, and we got to keep that in our head. I remember the transition between analog to digital, and it was a sucker punch for me because you could either go in on the digital realm because the digital cameras were coming out and they were becoming more popular, more accessible, and more affordable, and you could either go into getting into the digital route or you could be left behind and I chose to be basically left behind because I love the analog look I love the feel I love the film look itself but you know the film started getting more expensive and it was just becoming obsolete and so I had to really dive into the digital realm and I wasn't too happy with it. But that's the same thing with this, with artificial intelligence, right? We can either move forward with the technology as it advances and becomes more accessible, or we as editors get left behind. So we gotta be able to adapt and overcome every situation. And I think that's a good thing to uh, keep in our heads. Because, you know, technology is going to continue to advance. Artificial intelligence is here to stay, and it's going to continue to grow. And it's going to continue to get better. Like what I just showed you with this voice isolation. It's freaking crazy. The final feature I want to show you guys is AI voice cloning. And this thing is crazy, okay? Let's just say that all your attempts to recover the audio on your film set was not possible and you can't get a hold of the actor or the actress, well, you could honestly clone their voice. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and drop a clip here. Okay, so let's just say we want this one. And we're gonna come in here. Haze allows you to see the texture of the light coming through the window. And we're gonna cut it right there. Okay. It haze allows you to see the texture of the light coming through the window. All right, that'll work. So what we're gonna do now is, you don't need a professional microphone to record this, but we're gonna go use my handy dandy iPhone. Haze allows me to see the texture of the light coming through the window. I like that. So now what we can do on our phone is we will go ahead and share and we will drop it, airdrop it straight into my Mac. Receiving, and it's right here. Okay, we'll drop it right next to it. Haze allows me to see the texture of the light coming through the window. Okay, that'll work. Or I'll see what the other one says. Haze allows me to see the texture of the light coming through the window. Let's use that one. So we're gonna come in here, do, 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 bring this in. And on this clip here, we're gonna right click, AI tools, DaVinci AI voice cloning. Now, this allows you to train the voice. So we're gonna go ahead and accept it. And we're gonna name this uh, Tyler Williams, and we're going to say start. So what it's doing now is it's preparing and it's analyzing the clip for accuracy. 
now that it's done, all we have to do is click and go into Voice Convert. And we can click on Tyler Williams, Render. So what it's doing now is it's just rendering the voice into Tyler Williams. So let's hear this again. Haze allows you to see the texture of the light coming through the window. Haze allows you to see the texture of the light coming through the window. It's, it's decent. But I guarantee you in the future versions of DaVinci Resolve, they're going to fix all the quirks. And this is just going to be one steady powerhouse for everyone. Now with this tool, it is absolutely incredible. Like... It blows your mind, right? And it it still has quirks, but just like everything in AI, it has its quirks. I guarantee you though, in the coming versions, this thing's gonna be rock solid. And this thing is just a start. Like there is a load of new features in DaVinci Resolve 20. And I'm gonna go into more of the color grading tools next week, so stay tuned for that. Until then, practice and create.